R. Ask Reddit, asks, what is unethical as fuck, but is extremely common practice in the business world. Claiming it's taboo to talk about salaries and pay. This suppresses market knowledge of what someone is really worth. This is actually anti-free market. Once I started openly talking with my colleagues about what we each made we all ended up much better at negotiating our salaries. Edit. Goodbye inbox. Thank you gold givers. I wish I could tell you all what your market value truly is but I can guarantee you it's probably more than you're making. It's why when you find a new job your current company just so happens to magically find more money for you to match your new offer. As a bonus tip don't take it. Move on to better things. Edit 2. URL redacted. Hiring more part-time workers instead of giving hourly workers slightly more hours to avoid giving them benefits. My former boss did that and we eventually found out her Christmas bonus was based on how much she saved on wages, benefits, etc. Careful, deceptive wording. Up to 100 Mbps internet speeds. Means you get 5 to 6 Mbps. And, up to, 100 for a moment here and there. Made with 100% chicken, simply means that real chicken was utilized as an ingredient at some point. It's like saying a bottle of wine is made with 100% organic cork. Sugar-free, means less sugar per serving than the minimum we have to report the top rated underscore 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 underscore, usually followed by the specific study that ranked it best. Did you know you can pay a company to perform a study for you that's guaranteed to determine you're the best? Fake promotions. There's a role you can apply for that doesn't have any extra pay or benefits. In which you do the same work as the role above that which is higher paid, in the hopes that eventually you'll be the next in line to actually be given that next position. Except you won't. A company having a business model that relies on charging fees for breaking its own rules without justification for them. Looking at you Creditone. Has a late payment fee but refuses to add any kind of auto payment. In 2017. Takes 5 days to clear a normal payment. Pay 4 days before your bill is due? That's a late payment fee. Want your payment to clear earlier to avoid that fee? Pay an express payment fee. It's the same fee amount. Lordy. What a coincidence. Doc. Getting a lot more common in my industry is hiring interns all the time. After their few months of training, they get replaced by next batch. With the shortage of jobs and need for experience, many people fresh out of college will happily work for free to gain experience. IIRC. Unpaid interns cannot replace hired workers. That might be illegal. Edit. I know it's commonplace. Nothing changes if no one speaks up. But thank you for sharing your stories. E sharp 2. Any iteration of, it's illegal but companies still do. URL redacted, gallery, WTDNNWE. This. Ever wonder why a store like Walmart will have 600 workers capped at 31 hours? Instead of 200 full-timers? Because benefits kick in at 32 hours a week. Edit. Ham 3. I work for Walmart and it's awesome responses in under 5 minutes. After a few hours of none. Looks like Walmart PR just found this thread. Places like Walmart also like to keep people's schedules in flux because if it was steady you might do something good for yourself like look for a better job. Using your employment as leverage to keep your mouth shut. For example, a temp agency I worked through tried to deduct the cost of PPE from my paycheck. I told them that legally, employers need to provide PPE to their employees not sell it to them. They threatened to fire me. I reported them to OSHA. They got fined and had to reimburse everyone their $15 deduction for PPE. Temp agencies are fucking scams. Edit. PPE. Personal protective equipment. Hard hat. Safety glasses. Gloves. Steel tip boots. Etc. Edit. I listed steel toe boots as an example of PPE. But employers aren't necessarily required to provide steel-tipped shoes. Most employers will reimburse the cost of them. Though, for regular employees, not so much for temps. The sort of things that need to be supplied would be protective headwear, eyewear, gloves, etc. Not too sure about ear protection. 
but my employer supplies earplugs. Also, to the few thinking, he did this over $15? What a cheapskate. I didn't do it for the money. I did it because they were taking advantage of people who didn't know any better. A menial amount to you? Probably. But when I applied to this agency, I was broke as fuck and $15 was more than my hourly wage. Not cool. Nominal weights and measures that don't match actual weights and measures. My company sells by the each but each item has a nominal weight. We intentionally produce our product approximately 10% light to save raw material costs. What's funny is in the steel pipe industry they do the opposite. A lot of pipe mills will sell you heavier walled pipe to increase the cost of each joint. That sounds illegal as fuck. How is this not straight up fraud? Comcast's pricing strategy where they raise the price an absurd amount from one month to the next and just hope customers aren't paying attention or too passive to complain. Call Comcast Friday to try and lower my bill. I tell them I don't want the phone. Any of the premium channels other than HBO. Give me regular internet instead of blast. And the I don't need the DVR. They come back with packages that are $20 to $50 more than what I am currently paying. Let me get this straight. I drop stars, Showtime, Cinemax, phone line, go to a slower internet package, and give up the DVR box and I pay more. How does this make sense? And their likely oligopoly prevents you from leaving. Yeah, it's not like I come to work because I like it and the salary is just a nice little bonus. But that's exactly how you're supposed to act. Like open conversations about money are taboo because you're supposed to act like you love the job. And salary is just a side note. I wish it was the other way around and job interviews would start with salary offers before getting to the OK so are you interested in doing such and such work? Name checks out. Companies that stifle competition, innovation by buying smaller companies just to stop what the smaller company is doing. Add to that companies who lobby the government in order to create barriers to entry. Cough Google, cough edit. I can't wait for EA hate to stabilize edit P2. I didn't realize there were this many Google fanboys on Reddit. It's like I've insulted Elon Musk or something. Consistently making salaried exempt employees work 10 plus hours overtime a week in order to avoid hiring more staff. But at the same time using a 40-hour work week to calculate things like PTO. Oh, you're tired from working 55 to 60 hours this week. John Fess? Well I have great news. You'll work another 55 next week plus you're on call 24-7. Work overtime. Fine. Need to leave work a couple hours early. That's coming out of your pay. Textbooks. Fucking overpriced textbooks. Bonus points if the professor of the class is also the author. I had a few professors in college that wrote the textbook but gave us the PDF versions for free. And the human body changes for the tenth year in a row? Having your customers pay extra for a sense of pride and accomplishment at it. Spicy. I got my gold virginity taken away. Thanks BB. The intent was there. This has killed gaming for me. I refuse to buy games that do this. So as a huge Star Wars fans I've accepted that I won't be playing any of the video games for the foreseeable future. Japan isn't perfect that's true, they did have a train that left 20 seconds early last week. It made world news. Someone once explained the Japanese train system to me this way. If it's 9.02 and you're standing on the platform with a ticket for the 9. 07 and you see a train coming into the station. Do not get on that train. That is not your train. It's the 903 train. Your train will arrive in 4 minutes. Dot. 20 whole seconds? What is this? The Middle Ages? Exclamation mark. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you wonderful people.